This is Kelly Hill, technology reporter with RCR Wireless News. I'm here today with Wayne Wong of Enritsu. He's the product manager for their LMR master line, correct? Yes, I am. Absolutely, great. Well, we're here at IWCE, and uh, Wayne, tell me a little bit about what you guys are talking about here at the show, uh, what you have in your LMR product portfolio. Okay, so uh, this week at the show, we're specifically showing the LMR master uh, and its capabilities designed specifically for the land mobile radio market. Uh, with a focus on public safety sector. So we have some very exciting news to, uh, to show this week uh, with the introduction of a new product. It's called the MA8100A okay. uh, TRX Neon Signal uh, Mapper. And what does it do? So this uh, new product is a collaboration with a company called TRX Systems. Okay. And what it's designed for is indoor and in-building mapping. Um, so with the NFPA, the National Fire Protection Association's um, uh, rules for certificate of occupancy, the, they mandate that uh, you have to have uh, indoor coverage maps mm -hmm. uh, for certification and uh, so that you can get certificate of occupancy. So this tool is uh, designed specifically for the people that are doing signal mapping indoors mm -hmm. so that uh, we, they can easily and quickly get these uh, maps done and the reports generated for this purpose. So what does the solution consist of? I'm assuming if you're doing indoor mapping, it's probably handheld? Yes. So uh, it uses uh, any one of our handheld uh, devices that have a spectrum analyzer mode. Okay. Um, and also... Uh, with the focus on the public safety sector, the LMR Master is one of the instruments that uh, it's targeted for. It has also special modes so that it could uh, map some of the uh, different uh, radio standards like P25, DMR, NXDN. So it has specific mapping capabilities for, for the public safety radio standards and also uh, for general spectrum analyzers, we use the channel power mode. So you could map it for interference, mm -hmm. and you could map for signal coverage. Okay, great. So uh, what's unique about this capability is it's um, traditional systems, what you would have to do is um, you would use your finger probably on, on an instrument and, and tap and say, I'm here, I'm mm -hmm. here. Yeah. Um, and of course, uh, that's very manual and time intensive, and you're limited by uh, the resolution of your screen and how how accurate your yeah. your finger taps are. Mm -hmm. So that's again tedious. So the unique capability of this is that you just have to calibrate a, uh, a small device that you could see I'm, I've worn oh, on my belt. Oh, you have one. Okay. Um, and then you just walk with the instrument either with a cart or in your backpack, um, and you walk normally in a not natural pace, and it uh, takes the RF measurements from the instruments. Uh, and merges it with the location information from the tracker and generates a uh, 3D map. And then how does that tra how does that get reported? Is that something, uh, are there cloud capabilities? Are there, um, you know, how do you uh, generate that into a, into a map? So once you get the map collected, you could either store it locally on your Android device uh -huh. or you could upload it straight to the cloud. Oh, great. Uh, if you upload it straight to the cloud, that can automatically be instantly accessible by anybody in the back office. They could download it straight to the cloud and then on a PC uh, application that's also included with the system, they can actually then look at your map to make sure that you've got all the entire building uh, cleared. So as, as soon as the person who's doing the mapping is done, they could take a you know lunch break or something, uh, upload it to the cloud, and then the manager or somebody in the back office looks at it and says, okay, you missed a spot, you could go back to that uh, spot, remap that, and come back. So it eliminates the need to go back out uh, to do a second uh, run of the coverage. Okay. So, Wayne, tell us a little bit about what the target market is uh, for this new solution. Okay. So uh, this is targeted for the installers, the maintainers, and also uh, anybody that has to uh, do signal mapping for the in-building in, in uh, coverage. Um, so people like fire departments um, and engineering consultants that are contracted to go out to get these maps. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for walking us through. Okay, great. Thank you very much.